Throughout history there have been many executions performed to take the life of a condemned criminal. Some of the most serious criminals, including murderers, made their way during the Tudor period to the public execution places where they would be subject to horrific ordeals, such as hanging, drawing and quartering. Public executions occurred as the king or queen at the time wanted to send a clear message to the people of their lands and kingdoms that no such behaviour will be tolerated. Henry VIII would execute even some of his closest friends because of this, and two of his wives even lost their heads inside of the Tower of London. But around Europe, there were many different forms of execution which were carried out, and some were more bloody than others. The guillotine emerged in France in the wake of the French Revolution, and this device over the centuries would take the lives of thousands as the slanted blade would drop quickly onto the unfortunate person's neck. The guillotine was even used in Germany during the Second World War, and the final execution using the device in France was carried out in 1977. But there was one woman in 1908 who made her way to the guillotine after she was convicted of a huge range of crimes, including conspiracy to commit murder, fraud, and she was actually found guilty of murdering her fiancé. She became the last woman to be publicly executed in the Kingdom of Saxony, and her story is a captivating one. Join us today as we look at the horrific execution of Greta Bayer, and remember as always to support our channel. Please make sure to subscribe. Marie Marguerite Bayer, also known as Greta, was born on the 15th of September 1885 in Brand, Evisdorf. Her father was the mayor of the town, and it's presumed she had a rather privileged early life due to her father's position in the town. In 1905, she fell in love with a clerk named Johannes Heinrich Merker, and the pair would engage in an affair, and they would meet in secret behind the backs of their parents. The couple then did get engaged, and planned to marry, however Greta ended this relationship, as he was cheating on her. Around this time she also met a chief engineer, named Heinrich Pressler, and his parents requested that the two became engaged. Their relationship was a strange one, and Greta was passive in the face of her husband's dominating nature, and the two would occasionally fall out. But despite this, Greta then secretly began to see Johannes Merka again, who was committing various crimes including embezzlement. From their relationship, Greta became pregnant, and she had a termination in November 1906. Pressler, Greta's fiancé, was in the process of planning a wedding, arranged for the 14th of May 1907, but she did not want to go ahead with this, and to avoid the upcoming nuptials, she began to send false and fake love letters from a mysterious Italian woman named Ferroni to her fiancé. She hoped that these letters would be enough for her to find a way out of the marriage, and to leave, but then Greta, under the influence of Merca's criminality, turned to shady behaviour herself. In April 1907, a relative of hers died, and Greta falsified his will, and she stole all of the jewellery from her parents' home, and also a checkbook. She took this relative savings, and split the money with Merka. But then things took an even darker turn, as a few days later, Greta decided to try and put a stop to the wedding of her and Heinrich Pressler once and for all. She had got herself into this situation, but for some reason she believed she could not find a way out. Because of this she turned to murder, and on the eve of the planned wedding, she poisoned her soon-to-be husband with cyanide. Following this she shot him in the mouth with a revolver, to look as if Pressler had taken his own life, biting down on a cyanide capsule, and then shooting himself. After she had committed the murder, she then sent more letters to the fake Italian mistress, claiming that Pressler was considering taking his own life, making it look more likely of a crime scene. But things would soon come crashing down for Greta Bayer. In the following month, the theft from her parents' home was discovered, and Greta fell under investigation, and many people began to suspect her being involved in not just the death of her fiancé, but other illegal activities. She was accused also of illegal termination, and then Merka, who she had an affair with, was also arrested. But in November 1907, Greta Bayer confessed to the murder of Heinrich Pressler, and making it look like he had taken his own life. 
She was brought to trial and was sentenced to death for the murder and the scheming she had done, and she even petitioned to the king to spare her execution for her crimes. But King Frederick Augustus III would take no such leniency on her, and he confirmed her death sentence, rejecting her pleas. On the 23rd of July, the 22-year-old Greta Bayer was led out of her prison cell in Dresden into a courtyard. Inside the courtyard was a scaffold, a wooden structure that had five steps on it, that led to the platform where the guillotine was sitting. There were a number of windows from the prison that looked into the courtyard, and there were also many prison officials who were there to oversee the execution. She was led out by the guards, who then handed her over to the state executioner, Moritz Brand, who quickly slid her under the guillotine blade after she was strapped to a wooden board. He then swiftly released the blade, and within seconds, Greta Bayer was executed. An account from the execution states, Greta Bayer, the daughter of the mayor of Freiburg, was beheaded last night in punishment for the murder of the man to whom she was engaged to be married. The executioner of this young woman reached the city last night. He carried a thin, long box containing the axe, which he did with his work, and also brought with him a handbag with a suit of evening clothes. The wearing of this garb is an official requirement of the sombre occasion. The preparations for this execution of the death sentence for the prison had been completed, and the man did his work quickly and privately, and departed from Freiburg as quickly as he came. The executioner is an anonymous person sent here from Dresden on the announcement that the King of Saxony had refused to pardon Greta Bayer for her crime. Greta Bayer was a woman who committed a number of crimes throughout her short time on earth, and she was someone who seemed to get herself into a number of difficult situations. She believed the best way of ridding herself of her fiancé was rather than leaving him, to turn to murder and to poison and shoot him. She was cold and calculated, and also incredibly deceitful, and along with the man she had an affair with, the pair were hardened criminals. She is remembered today in history as the last woman who was publicly executed in Saxony, and despite only being 22, she was a cruel young woman. Thanks for watching. To support our channel, please make sure to subscribe, and once again, thank you so much for watching.